Hello and welcome back to another fabulous build here on my channel where we're going to be building this apartment that I made for my eco lifestyle um, Let's Play or yeah, Let's Play. Um, I knew they were going to be moving into the Stone Street Apartments. Um, we chose number four because I just built one for a, a single mom family that I'm really, really big fan of. I'm really, really happy about and think something I've noticed though with this apartment in particular is that I had to start over twice. Because of the fact that flooring disappeared, but it was allowing me to build walls, just not actual flooring. So once again, The Sims 4 has another glitch to add to its long collection of glitches. I also like to mention that another glitch I, like, I experienced, not while building this particular, but actually filming this series, was the fact that I could not see where we're at um, in the season and or um, the eco meter. Um, all that stuff was broken. So that's just something fun to add in for anybody who's curious. Um, this is a lot that has a perfect eco score. Um, once we moved here, by the way, all those challenges went away. Um, I'm assuming that the flooring would still need to be. I've heard this is a problem with bulldozing lots, especially apartments in, in Evergreen Harbor. So just be aware of that. I know a lot of people have been talking about it. But I'm just going to bring it up again since I've never experienced it and say it was the first day of doing so. This apartment is small. It's a two bedroom um, and two and a half bath, you know, apartment. There's a living room um, with a desk in it, so if you have a working sim, um, there is a bathroom in the main hallway, which where all the, all the bedrooms and stuff are, and where every room connects, except for that half bath. The half bath especially is just made for the foyer type area. Um, the kitchen itself is a darker kitchen, which I really, really do enjoy. It's inspired by this one table from Discovery University, which is this black, pure black table that just inspired the whole entire room, which I'm was really really happy with um then we have the actually i was a really really big fan of the foyer room we play around with a few different things for these end tables but i really liked how they turned out they're mirrored cats and dogs by one of them to represent the rooms that they're walking into and so um as you guys can see here here in one second um we're gonna be adding a calendar that makes me represent like a kitchen and then the flower um represents nothing i just you know i need another thing so but I was going somewhere with that, obviously. Uh, and then this is that table. It's my favorite table of the whole game, by the way. Um, I just love these tables so much. I love, like, sitting at them in, um, like, actual school and things. And so there's a lot of fond memories with these tables in general, just in, like, real life. And so I was really, really pleasantly surprised. I also really enjoyed how the kitchen turned out. I like the dark covers. I don't usually use these particular countertops um, and island because of the fact that they're made for the outside, but I figured why not, we'll, we'll switch it up a little. And of course, um, I am getting a little tired of only having to use this fridge. It did work out just fine, but it was a little bit annoying because we have no fridges that automatically connect to that counter. Um, and there's always that gap and I do not like having that gap and it just annoys me to no end. So that's why that's there. But we're gonna be jumping around and stuff. Um, it is a pet friendly. I don't really know what all packs I use. It's a whole variety of certain ones, but it is pet friendly and particularly cats. You can of course have dogs. There is a dog bed. Um, it would be a small dog if you do decide to have a dog, or you can even rearrange a little bit to make it even better. Um, there is no big cat tree. There's just a small cat tree um, in the parents bedroom, which we'll get to here in a sec. Um, as we're gonna move on to the living room. Now, because this whole entire Let's Play is about keeping the ego footprint into the green, which we are staying at very strongly, I decided to go for a faux fireplace instead of a real fireplace, as real fireplaces in real life and in the game give off such a horrible industrial vibe that I decided this is a perfect way to go. And so if you have the free stuff pack, which is free, so you should have it, um, all you gotta do is download that and you'll be all good to go. Like just, you know, just like that. Um, because they have things to accompany it and stuff, and I think it turned out to be really nice. Personally, I think the living room is the least inspiring room, if you don't count the kids' room, which I never like. But I was going for a totally different vibe, which would have brought that home room together. But they are having a baby, and so I had to make it a toddler room, and so I would highly recommend aging it up into a higher uh, child room, um, like a child's room, instead. Um, our sim is a gardener, but there is no place to put any type of gardening inside the house, and so I did put the... Um, the herb the, the shrub back there so they can continue to practice angelina can continue to practice i of course got a Lindsay because i can never live without it and then of course there's a few more cats things running around now this actual back nook here is one of my favorite places it has my favorite chair from bowling night and then also we do have a base game 
but I just like how it all came together. I thought it was really, really cute. We're going to accompany it off by a nice rug. And personally, sure, I could use a painting or something, but ultimately, I think it was really, really well done. Now, the parents' bedroom, I also really like, but parents' bedrooms are, tend to be more simpler than anything. Um, I'm watching Arrow, so just bear with me as we, uh, um, it will get back to speed, I promise. It, it'll, it'll come back. I don't know when, but there we go. And so I decided to do um, this green room um, with the eco bike beds and stuff, which I find to be almost a little too big and I tried to make it smaller. And so ultimately we're gonna have to deal with some of the clipping. And I think one way you can look at this through the clipping is that they're attached to the bed. And so it was all a piece that they built from like Ikea or something like that. It's kind of like the vibe I was going for. And I don't really know if I achieved that vibe, but that's that's what I was, that's what I was headed for. Um, I tried to put it into a big cat tree, but ultimately it didn't work. And then also I forgot about the cat litter. And so it's also in there. I think the cats can use it. I'm not entirely sure. So this is the bedroom that was the inspiration. But ultimately I forgot that I was building it for a child, um, let alone a teen, like, a, you know, a toddler. And so it ultimately did not pan out the way I hoped so. But guys, please do check out the series that this goes along with in case you guys are curious about the characters and stuff. I have so much fun. We're welcoming the 10th generation. This is a 10th generation bedroom. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave me a big fat thumbs up. Up. Don't forget to comment down below. Hit subscribe and I'll see you all next time for another beautiful, lovely video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to enter my giveaway. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, also, 300 subscribers.